points. The San Miguel Beermen are in charge here in the third quarter. Canaleta gets free. Now Danny I working against Canaleta. And Defonso settled for the jumper. I'm sure it looks like the ball is going to go back to San Miguel. They got it going off from Don Eliado there. There are dozens of red shirts on their bench, all pointing in the same direction. Oh, nice pass. And they're going to get Freeman with the charge, and that's going to be number four on Gabe Freeman. Now you talked about this at the top of the coverage, Gabe Freeman, and uh, his being found prone here in the PBA. Yeah, and San Miguel's really a different team when he's in there. He's so active, he's so energetic. Even when you think you've got him boxed out, he keeps going and fights through the box out and gets so many second chance points. Well, this will give them a different complexion now that uh, Gabe Freeman heads to the bench. And Arwin Santos back in this ball game. Simon over to Washam. Washam. Little sidestep. They're looking to get Simone Washam going off the ball screen. It's a good play because Jude Simone such a scoring threat in his own right. If you show out and help, Washam's open. The import, great score, obviously, here for B Meg. Canaletta at the high post. Looking for that jumper. Washam off the loose ball. Again, just not giving up on the play. Looked like it was a sure rebound for Jay Wash. Washington kept pursuing the ball and benefited with two points because of it. Oh, and Washington follows his own shot again. Had the easy shot, missed it, follows and gets a good look because of it. Final second of the third quarter, and the San Miguel Beermen with a 13-point lead. Looking primed and in position to put this series away. Fourth quarter is coming up. Welcome back to the PBA, and we're with Coach Ronnie Magsano. Coach Ronnie, down 13, fourth quarter, do or die ball game. Decision on the line for us. It's all about heart right now. Santos and Washington, we have to do a good job containing them in the fourth. But everything boils down to how much we want it. I think it's uh, just about says it all. It's all about desire. Season on the line. It's all about heart. All right. Thank you, Coach. I'm going to let you go back to your bench and give some last-minute instructions, guys. Thank you, Dominic. And uh, B-Major Bistiamadas have found themselves in this situation many times this season. They've managed to extend their life here in the conference, finding ways to break through and advance to the next level. And they don't want this to be the end of the line for their Fiesta Conference. Coach Ronnie saying it's all about heart and desire. Well, no doubt all these guys want to win. They have a major opponent with a big lead in front of them. So it's not going to be easy for BMEG. And that's a nice steal by BMEG Derby Ace with Washam stealing, uh, or rather slapping that possession. And he goes for the jumper. Can't. Oh. <laughs> that's just a big time shot. Half spin, bumps Don Don off a little bit, spins back and knocks down the fadeaway. And that's 23 in the ball game for Tony Washam. Another interesting matchup, Rafi Rivas out on Don Don Antiveros. Danny I had a clear look with that baseline jumper. Washam with the fake over to Simone. Fire one, yes. Oh, oh my. Be careful. June Simone is knocked down two threes now. And more importantly, they brought the lead back down to single digits. And the Beerman calling for this timeout. San Miguel still ahead by eight. Everybody to the payoff period of Game Six in the 2010 PBA Fiesta Conference Semifinals between the BMAC Derby AC Amados and San Miguel Beerman. Vito Lozatin here along with Alex Sinat courtside. And the San Miguel Beerman 
Feeling a little bit of heat from the BMEG Derby East Yamados. Trailing by eight. Washington. No outside connection there. And this could be a loose ball foul. Jay Watch had a solid game, but he hasn't knocked down a three yet today. And, you know, we talked about Artadi or Yap, Roger Yap having to step up and make some outside threes. Well, right now, Jude Simone is playing the point guard for BMEG because of his ability to shoot the ball. So he's in there. He's knocked down two threes. It might have to change. San Miguel might have to change the way that they're doubling or helping on Washam or James Yap. Over to Aliado. And that's going to be an over-the-line violation. The credit going to the San Miguel Beerman defense. Yeah, well, really, they didn't let James Yap touch the ball. Aliado had picked up his dribble and had no one that he could find right away. Rafi Rivas was flashing, but he'd already decided to try to hit June Simone on that tough cross-court pass. Solid defense again by San Miguel. Freeman stops and pops. It's a nice play. They're going high screen and roll between the two big men, Freeman and Danny I. And Freeman gets the good crossover and pull-up jump shot. Extending this lead back up to 10. Freeman with 17. Washam working in the low post against three red shirts. And here come the Beerman on the run. Oh, Ahead to Arwin Santos. Santos stops. And a nice put back there by Gabe Freeman. Perfect pass by Cabagnon, led that break. And Freeman needs to be careful. He's got four fouls. He doesn't want to pick up his fifth this early. We're trying Gregorio this time calls for a timeout. We'll be right back with more. Five time of basketball remaining here in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes and 31 seconds. Nine minutes and 31 seconds before the fate of one of these teams will be determined. If the San Miguel Beermen win this one, they will head to the finals, and that will be the end of the season for the BMEG Derby East Yamados. Saw on that right, that play right there. San Miguel's defense so conscious of Washam, and rightfully so. He's a great scorer, having a solid game, that they jumped, overcommitted, opened the driving lane to Rivas, and Rivas, though he's 6'9", makes a nice play off the dribble, finding Pingris. Over to Magum Arjun with this report. Coach Shaw Tuckinson wants the Beermen to be aggressive on the defensive end, but not by committing too many fouls. He reminded the boys to just stay in front of their man. On offense, they want to look for the mismatches, run the pick and roll, as he pointed out that P.J. Simon is not that good a pick and roll defender. Vito? Yeah, well, definitely no time for any shenanigans in this game. You need mm -hmm. to be thinking and focused. 11 points with 9 minutes left is far from insurmountable, and this BMEG team has faced challenges like this throughout this whole year. Simon pulling down the rebound for BMEG Derby Ace. They clear the way for Washam. Washam trips, and it's another steal. Here comes Kabagnot. Four red shirts, and Ildefonso can't finish. Wow, really good opportunity right there for San Miguel. Jumper by Arwin Santos misses everything. <laughs> and Gabe Freeman got chopped down. Yeah, he got thrown down by Washam on that play. Just physical play all the way around. Well, they're warriors. They're warriors and they're professionals. And they know what's on the line here. Yeah, again, that was a big opportunity to open it up. 13, Danny I, who had some adventures when he first checked into the yes. game. In the first half, Kabak Note gets in the layup. Couldn't finish, and BMEG still with a very good opportunity in this game, though they're down 11. Roger Yap taking over the point position now for BMEG Derby Ace. Out to James Yap. And Washam still staying strong inside. James Yap picking up the loose ball. Still a lot of time on the shot clock here for the Llamado. So in comes Roger Yap. Hand off to Washam. Oh, great block by Danny I. Good help defense right there. Coming over, getting a piece of that shot by Washam. High 
high screen. And Freeman. Oh, my! What a tough shot! I don't know what you call that one, but that was tough. Must be something in the water over at the San Miguel Beerman dugout. Well, BMAG really needs to get something going offensively here. They've been stuck on the 64 mark for a little while and have been struggling to get a good look. Oh, and that's a kamikaze drive, courtesy of Tony Watson there. And it's a tough matchup for Danny Ives, having to guard Washam out there on the perimeter. Washam taking advantage of his quickness and offensive ability. Approaching the seven-minute mark now of the fourth quarter. Kabagnut. Mulling his options here from the outside. He goes for the three. Again, a tough possession. That was all Alex Kabagnut dribbling until he took a challenge three-point shot. Oh, and look at this. It's just non-stop production out from Tony Wassum. A gutsy three-point shot. Danny I was right there. Maybe watch him even getting a high five on the follow-through from Danny I, but he knocks it down. So 28 now for Tony Wassum. And look at that battle for the loose ball. Will it lead to a, to a basket here? Pingris took some contact and stealing a little bit on that play. El Defonso against Rivas. The short one is off. Bimek Derby Ace will try to set themselves up here. They go to Pingris. Pingris on the drive. Oh, look at Freeman with another monster rebound. Just huge in traffic against the two heroes of BMEG last game, who were Rocky Rivas and Mark Pingris. And we now have a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Picks on first aid and by Mo Bonds all seals all. That was Gabe Freeman's 19th rebound of this game. He had 25 rebounds last game, 19 already this game with 540 to go, and he continues to bring so much on both sides of the floor for his team. Well, he's putting in the work while the import on the b make Derby A side, on the other hand, maybe starting up, started to feel like he has to take over now for the offense of b make Derby A's. James Yep has not had a good look all fourth quarter long. Yeah. Well, it's really been, and they're two radically different players. Washington, much more of a skill player and a perimeter player. Gabe, much more of a player around the basket, athletic, energetic, who's going to make things happen. Again, just rebounding the ball as he did right there, but it's only an eight-point lead. As big as that rebound was, mm -hmm. BMEG has slowly just bit by bit chipped away, and they've done this many times before throughout the course of this year. Pontiveros. Now Kabagnut. And the double team working now for BMEG Derby Ace, forcing the turnover. Roger Yap. Inside the Pingris. Pingris scores against Washington. Mark Pingris was the guy who caused that steal and then is the guy who benefits on the other end playing big late in this ball game. And now BMEG Derby Ace within six. Import against import now. Freeman. Santos. Takes the jumper. Oh, oh, what a jumper nailed by Arwin Santos. Arwin Santos has made some huge shots here in this second half. Roger, yep, biding his time. Now Pingris trying to make his move from the low post. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Roger, yep. Well, and that was fortunate for BMAG because Mark Pingris took a long time with the basketball in the post. And then when he did finally kick it out to Roger Yap, it was a very slow bounce pass. Yap just doing an excellent job of drawing a foul and getting to the free throw line. And it's been a while.